The Visitor. <laughs> a mystery. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, she breathed a sigh of relief. At last, it was the quiet time in the shop that she relished. The mad rush for the Saturday papers had gone by without a hitch, and Diane had started to feel more relaxed. As a volunteer in the small community store, she felt she was doing her bit, as they say. But as an added bonus, she was actually starting to get to know a few people beyond just a nodding acquaintance or a polite hello. And people were even using her name. Yes, she thought to herself, it felt good to be part of something. She had recently moved to the village with her new husband in an effort to make a fresh start. And what with the shop and the choir for her and the gardening and curry club for him, things were really looking up. And maybe now they could start to put some roots down in this delightful little village on the edge of the Cotswolds and make it their home. She could feel the cool breeze from the air conditioning starting to make the hairs on the back of her neck rise a little. Well, that's what she assumed was causing the feeling anyhow. She hadn't noticed it on previous Saturdays while she was working, but then again, maybe it had been cooler then and the AC hadn't been coming on. Her mind wandered a while and she couldn't help but admire the neatness of all the lovely products stacked and simply spaced on the shelves. She was very grateful that other volunteers took care of all that. She certainly wouldn't have the patience required for that task. You probably need a bit of OCD in you, she pondered. Her still and mindful moments were abruptly broken and she came back to earth with a bump when a customer that she had not spotted on the all-seeing CCTV suddenly stepped in through the door. She couldn't help herself from letting out a gasp and thought it best to apologise right away. She said, I'm so sorry, I didn't see you coming and you startled me. My name is Diane, how can I help you? The stranger, for that's what he, she knew he was, didn't reply, but gave her a rather chilling stare in return. Diane felt uncomfortable. She certainly hadn't seen this person before and definitely not seen him in the village during one of her exploratory walks. Well, he wasn't the sort of person you would not notice if you'd seen him. She tried not to stare too much, but she was mesmerised by the dark blue and red lines and the writing that was clearly text of some kind over virtually all of his face. Tattoos didn't normally shock her. After all, she had her own heart-shaped one in a place that people wouldn't normally look. But she'd never seen anything quite like this. These seemed to her to be moving. Who was he? What did he want? Her imagination was already doing somersaults. Still, he did not speak, but instead stretched out his arm as if to shake hands with her. <laughs>